Hello, my name is Joshua Alexander and welcome to the 4-H Climate and Weather Toolkit. We'd like to give you a preview of what we will be learning in this project. Weather is all around us and it's constantly changing. Have you ever wondered how scientists measure and study the weather? In the next few minutes, we will share how scientists use weather instruments and observations to collect data and to predict the weather. Scientists use instruments to take weather measurements. This helps them understand weather trends and even make future predictions about the weather. Today, we are making our own instruments to measure the weather out of everyday objects. Each of these instruments measure a different aspect of weather temperature, rainfall, humidity. These all affect our environment and most importantly, how our food is grown. As a part of this project, you can compare how accurate they are against scientific grade instruments. You can also discover how scientists select the site for their weather station and all the factors that go into it. A weather station is a group of weather instruments at one location that collect and transmit weather data. This data is used by meteorologists and climatologists and is useful for predicting weather patterns and trends. Where you put your weather station is important. In this project, you can learn how to scout the perfect location for your weather station. Today we're with Rick Lusher of the Florida Automated Weather Network. Most states have weather stations across their states to help collect weather information. Mr. Rick, how is the data you collect used to help farmers and citizens? A good question. Uh, we have a network of 40 automated weather stations around Florida. And uh, from those stations, we collect measurements every 15 minutes. And with those measurements, we help farmers in Florida and uh, Florida citizens with things uh, like just current data. And uh, we also do calculations for farmers for things like irrigation scheduling for a number of different crops, uh, including citrus and strawberries and blueberries and some vegetables. Uh, we also have a cold protection toolkit for farmers that use water for cold protection during the cold season. They can look at some different decision-making tools that we have to help them with those kinds of things. And then uh, we also provide information for Florida citizens like uh, weather forecast from the National Weather Service. We also provide radar images and animations for people that are going out during the day to look at uh, what the rainfall is like at that time. And uh, we also have some other uh, miscellaneous tools as well. Weather instruments are important for collecting accurate weather data. But for hundreds of years, farmers and scientists have looked into the clouds to predict the changes in the weather. One of the things you can learn in this project is how to identify different types of clouds and the type of weather they represent. Today, we see cirrostratus cloud, which means clear weather. Much of the data collected by weather stations is used to develop weather maps. Through this project, you can become a novice meteorologist by learning what the symbols mean on the weather map, like this one. They are very similar to what meteorologists use on TV when giving the weather report. We hope you enjoyed how scientists study and measure the weather. The next module in our toolkit will explain the differences between weather and climate.